Greetings, nerds and alcoholics, it's June 28th. Greetings, midwives and neo-Nazis, it's June 28th. Greetings, polygamists and hobos, it's June 28th. Greetings, pals and confidants. Thank you for being a friend. I guess I'm having trouble defining my audience. I don't want to call you strangers anymore. I feel like I know you. But I don't know what to call you. Perhaps sports racers? No, that doesn't make any sense. In the comments, a lot of you want my beard back. So for now, I'll call you beard lovers. No, not beer lovers, you crazy. Housekeeping. Yeah, so about my beard. I've noticed a lot of anger towards me lately. Chill out, the beard's coming back and it's gonna be even better. LOL ROR XXORS says he wants a user submitted script delivered as if I were reading cue cards. Well, LOL, if you were to so inclined, you could perhaps write the episode and send it to me and I would see what I could do. Otherwise, it is a snowball chance in purgatory I would ever use cue cards because it does not feel spontaneous enough. So LOL in your face, ha, ha, Danzig. People also seem pissed off about that whole merit point mumbo jumbo. So we're not gonna do that anymore. I got a new way that you can win the benzene t-shirt. Write songs about chips and salsa. And the writer of the best song <clears throat> gets the benzene t-shirt. Send it to my email, cgbenzene at hotmail.com. All right, it's serious time. The anonymous blogger asked about tipping. His first question is, is 20% good or standard? 20% is standard. A server will be a little disappointed if it's less than 20%. They'll think you're either a cheapskate jerkwad or you're foreign. I realize sometimes servers can give poor service. And if you really want to send a message, giving a bad tip is not the way to do it. Servers make below minimum wage. And I ask you, Mr. Anonymous, if you gave me poor service at your job, how would you feel if I docked your pay? If you really want to send a message, talk to a manager or write it down on the receipt. Now there are exceptions that would make even me leave a bad tip. Such as your waiter resting his junk on your table. But as a waiter, I've only done that four or five times. So it's rare. What is that? I think I smell a Nate in my apartment. Does that mean? Yes it does. It's time for The Nates I Know. Nate McGregor is the bartender where I work. He told me he grew up in Denver. I always wondered what it was like to grow up inside a singer-songwriter and bird kisser. Sadly, Nate can no longer conceal his tall man finger, probably because he found too much sustenance in helium. Don't float away, Nate. His favorite pastime is waving next to his automobile. But he's all set. He registered in 2004. Hey there, Nate. Welcome to... Can I get you something to drink? Hello. Welcome to... Can I get you something to drink? I'm the waiter. I'm the one who gets the drinks. I'm the bartender. Can I get you something to drink? I am the one who is the one who gets the drinks. But I'm the bartender. I'm the one who gets the drinks. Ah! Ah! Gee! Ah! Arr, I'm so angry! Arr, no! No, it's my apartment! Arr. Look at me! I'm the wheezy waiter! I have asthma! Get drunk!